Hey everyone, welcome back to the Canadian Workshop. Uh, I'm doing a collab this time uh, with Arctic Cat Dude, this guy, right here. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing a snorkel on this uh, 2002 Arctic Cat 500 4x4. We're not going to bore you with how to take apart the uh, the rack and the plastics and stuff. We're just going to get right into uh, how to make your own custom snorkel for this bike. So let's get right to it. So on this bike, right above the uh, the chain case, you've got the breather for the chain chain case. You have the uh, the air intake here from the uh, the breather box going to the air filter, and it goes up. And the original snorkel would go up here just uh, underneath the gas tank. So what we're going to do is cut it right here somewhere and put an extension out with a uh, a Y that's going to go down and hook on to this uh, breather here for the belt housing or belt case or belt box or you know this thing. So uh, yeah, so from here, across, cut, run a line Y down to the bottom here. And we're gonna find a way to run the piping up and underneath uh, and around all these brake, uh, brake lines and electrical wiring and stuff. And to do that, what we're gonna do is use this flex pipe that we got from our local swimming pool supply store. This is an uh, inch and a half uh, flex, uh, flex PVC or PVC flex, something like that. And if you heat this up with a heat gun or a hair dryer, you can easily shape it and bend it to uh, whatever you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend the, bend the pipe to go up in between there. And then ideally, we're going to come up and out right, uh, right, right here. This rad is also going to be relocated up on top of the rack. So we're doing a rad relocate and snorkel install. And uh, so we're going to come up here between the, uh, the brake lines and the frame. Again... With this material, we're going to heat it up, squish it down, fit it between, and it's going to come up in the center here somewhere just behind the speedometer using a black ABS pipe. So that's what we're fixing to do. We'll find out if it's going to work or not. All right, so we've decided to go ahead and uh, skip to removing the rad because it's going to be a bit in the way here for us to, uh, to run the, the plumbing for the, uh, the snorkel. And this rad is being relocated to the top of the rack anyways. So we're going to go ahead and uh, drain this and yank everything out. We're going to completely replace all this, uh, these old hoses too. We might as well do that while we're here. Whenever you're working on something that you need to get this far into the machine, you might as well spend the money and put all new parts in there. That way uh, you're saving yourself the, the headache down the line of having to strip all this down if anything wears out. So uh, all we need to do to remove the rad is we've got these electrical connectors here. We just need to pull those off and that's running the fan and the temperature switch down here uh, for the rad. And as well, down here underneath the crank on this side, you've got the water pump and you've got a, uh, a drain bolt right right back there to, uh, to drain the rad. So we're gonna start by doing that, pull all these pieces off and we'll be able to keep going with the snorkel install. One thing to take note when you're uh, draining your rad fluid out of the machine, uh, take note of what color it is. There is different color rad fluids for different machines. Uh, this one in particular, we just need anything that's uh, aluminum safe since, since it is an aluminum rad. You don't want to put Dex Cool or anything in an ATV uh, normally because it'll turn to gel and it'll gum up your machine. So make sure you're using the right antifreeze or the right coolant in your machines. Alright, so we've got the rad out now. We drained all the, the rad fluid, pulled the rad out. And the next step, what we're going to be doing is uh, over here, we're going to get ready to cut this uh, original uh, snorkel. Uh, we're going to cut it somewhere around here. I want to be able to reinstall it if ever we decide to go back, which we probably never will. But we're going to cut this off here. And we're using ABS pipes, ABS fittings to connect to this uh, lower vent here for the, uh, the belt housing. I'm just plugging it for now to keep mice and stuff out of there. So uh, we're using ABS pipes and we're going to go up and uh, go from here with a rubber fitting to this uh, white flexible PVC that we got from our local swimming pool supply store. Go across to a T that's going to go down here and underneath and with that rad gone now, we're going to have lots of room to run that uh, flex pipe to here to another... Uh, 90 degree PVC pipe or ABS pipe and we're going to probably put on a uh, metal bracket here 
to go across to support it to have the snorkel come out. So I decided to, to show you the rest here in time lapse because I figured you guys didn't need to uh, sit there and watch us measure all the pieces and cut them in real time. So what we're doing basically is just measuring for the vertical piece of ABS that's going to fit between the 90 degrees that's going into the boot for the chain case, or belt case and the T that goes up top. And now we're measuring where we want to cut this, uh, the original vent. We cut it halfway through a straight section just so we can easily re uh, reattach it later on if we ever want to go back to stock. And we're using that rubber boot there to connect between the original intake and the flexible PVC. So we've had to measure a few times here and uh, we'll cut a few times to make sure that it fits. And you can see this first time here, the T is actually pointing too far down. So we want that uh, flexible PVC to be shorter just to have the uh, a slight rise in the uh, the ABS going to the front of the, the machine. And as well, what we did there before is we tested the plastic. So you want to make sure that your plastics fit properly after the tool is in place. Okay, so now that we have all the breather lines run here to the front to that T and the vertical pipe and we're ready to come underneath the bike and get ready to come out, an important thing that you need to do is you need to put your rack back on and your front plastics on so you can see where you want your snorkel to come out. Originally we had thought it would come out back here between this uh, back part of the rack and the Articat 500. We're going to drill a hole right here and have it come out straight close to the uh, the handlebars but an issue that uh, we saw with that is that um, underneath there's these uh, the brake lines here which are going to be in the way and, and I'm not interested in starting to move all this stuff so what we're going to do is you can see that uh, ABS pipe there it's going to come closer to us and just on this side of the brake lines we're going to have it go up and you can see there's the uh, the original uh, access panel here to refill the radiator. We're gonna drill a hole from the top side just here, just be between this cap and the curve. Uh, there's gonna be room here for uh, to, to drill a hole to connect to these, uh, this 90 here that's gonna go back to the breather. So that's gonna put us right here. And uh, I'm gonna make sure that I drill the hole as close as I can to this bar. We're going to use this bar to help secure the snorkel and we don't want uh, that hole to come uh, in the way here of this cap. Uh, we're probably going to end up taking this off anyways because our rad is going to be sitting here at an angle and we want to have room to run the rad lines down here to get uh, to the motor. So we took the rad filler cap off and I'm just going to set it into place here just to give us an idea of where this back lip here catches underneath to, to lock it into place because if I just go ahead and measure which I did I measured and I found the center point uh, to line up the center of the uh, this cap here which should be the center of the plastics and then halfway between here and this piece that gives me uh, this center line here but the problem is if I drill a hole there it doesn't leave me much um, it doesn't leave me much space here between that lip and that ABS pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, uh, the spot as far back as I could go to be tight to this bar here on the rack to uh, to give myself as much meat as I can for this lip here. That's where she goes. Hoping it's the right spot because you can't move a hole. This ain't Bugs Bunny. There's no going back now. The hole's drilled. I used a two inch hole saw and it's uh, just barely bigger than this pipe. And like my dad says, when you use a hole saw, the hole always turns out to be a hair bigger. So I just got it just barely oversized so the pipe will fit in there snug. I didn't want any uh, it, or too much slop. I don't want any water and stuff coming out splashing through there. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to run that uh, 90 underneath and see how everything fits. So there's the snorkel. We uh, drill the hole. Like I mentioned, it fits just snug. It's got a little bit of play in there, but that's all right. And then if you look underneath, there's the uh, 
ABS coming through down. I have some room between the ABS and the brake lines. Connects to that elbow into that flexible PVC going over to the T. Everything fits nice. We did a dry fit, so now we gotta take it off. And what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna glue this joint here. It's pretty tight. I might silicone it, but I wanna be able to remove that to get the rack off and the, the plastics if ever I need to. So this one here is about the only one that's not going to be glued. Uh, everything else, I'm going to glue all the joints back because this piece here will be able to be easily removed or detached in order to do some maintenance uh, on the racks and the, uh, uh, the front plastics of the bike. There you have it. We're all done doing the, uh, the snorkel on this 2002 Arctic Cat 500. Uh, the snorkel is in. We're not sure what height we want to keep it at, but uh, we'll figure that, that out after. And uh, everything's all set up here. Uh, we didn't put the bike completely back together yet. Uh, you're going to see on our next video, we're going to go over the uh, relocating the rad up here on top on the rack. Uh, we did talk about a few things since we had to do that while we were working on this bike. Uh, we had to remove the rad to make it easier to access. Uh, but by no means do you have to remove the rad. So thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any of our upcoming videos. So thanks a lot and uh, see you on the next one.